Hello everyone. Welcome to our grade 12 commencement celebration. I'm sorry that we couldn't be doing this in person, but I feel privileged to be sharing this opportunity with you to celebrate the success of our graduating senior class. And that is not a small thing. As a class, you are now part of a 139 year old Athens tradition that stretches back to the first high school graduation celebrated in this community. Many of you have spent 13 years in the local Upper Canada District School Board schools, which is a journey that you started as young children. And now that journey is coming to an end. I believe that this is the real importance of recognizing and reflecting on your high school graduation. This event is very much the last milestone at the end of adolescence and the beginning of adulthood. That is, that is a significant enough life occurrence at the best of times. But these, for now at least, are uncertain times. Please remember that as you move into the next phase of your life, you take with you your accomplishments and pride that comes from hard work and perseverance. You also take your personal growth and experience. You leave behind at Athens a legacy and many fond memories. I just want to take the opportunity to thank the secondary staff for all their hard work in making this event possible. The staff, were phenomenal in working together to make this celebration special, including the drive through event. And that is another part of what makes Athens such a strong school community and a great place to be. Special thanks to Mrs. Bridgman and Mrs. Harrow for assembling this video. In closing, congratulations to each and every one of you on your accomplishments thus far. Simply put, to live life meaningfully is to change. This takes, among other virtues, a healthy dose, a dose of resiliency. Both successes and failure in the face of life's challenges are not final, and it is the courage to continue that counts. With that in mind, my best wishes to you as you pursue your upcoming goals. Be careful out there, warriors. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Hello, graduates. The chair of the uh, Seaway District High School uh, School Council remarked to me recently and she said, I'm really proud of what the kids and the staff have accomplished in this messed up year. I'm sure you can relate. However, I draw two conclusions. Firstly, it was indeed an unusual and difficult year in education. And secondly, you rose to the occasion and played the cards you were dealt and you succeeded. Never were the character traits of perseverance, resilience, courage, and caring more evident. I know this particular learning experience will support you in your future endeavors. I extend to you my very best wishes in your future. All the best. Hello, my name is Marsha McNair, Superintendent with the Upper Canada District School Board, and I am honored to bring greetings from the Senior Administration team to the Class of 2021 and their families. I would like to begin by acknowledging this has certainly been an unprecedented school year. Our students and staff have had to adapt to new and changing learning environments. However, we do not want to miss an opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you on this important milestone in your lives. This is a time to celebrate the learning, growth and accomplishments that all of you have experienced through your kindergarten to grade 12 journey. There have been many moments throughout your high school years that you will have cherished and hopefully all of the experience that you have encountered in your education have enabled you to grow and learn as a student and a person. I hope you take time to reflect on those many moments and experiences you enjoyed in high school. These are the memories that last a lifetime. I'd like to take a moment to thank our dedicated staff who have committed needless hours of hard work and resilience while at the same time caring so deeply for our students. Thank you. And to our families, parents, guardians, and caregivers, you have entrusted your child in us. We are forever grateful for the opportunity to help shape your child's life and help them recognize and achieve their true potential. We sincerely thank you for your continued support. And to our graduates, I challenge you to seek out opportunities to contribute to the world at large. We need dedicated and caring people like each and every one of you contributing positively to our society. You are our future. 
You bring your varied skill sets and your passion to your life and to those around you. Please remember to measure accomplishments by what you share. Life doesn't just happen, you make it happen. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are so very proud of you. Always stay humble and kind. Best of luck, stay safe and healthy. Thank you. And now we would like to present to you our ADHS class of 2021 graduating students. Connor Birch. Next year, Connor will either be returning to ADHS for additional courses or heading out to the workforce. The award that Connor has received is the PhotoVisions Award. Congratulations, Connor. Seth Brown. Next year, Seth is taking a gap year, then pursuing his studies and career as a sound engineer. Seth is receiving the Delta Agricultural Society Bursary. Congratulations, Seth. Morgan Burley. Next year, Morgan will begin her studies in a Bachelor of Nursing Science at Queen's University. Morgan is receiving many awards today. She is receiving the Ferguson Family Foundation Bursary, the Matheson Award for Leadership, the Rotary Club's Youth Merit Award, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 96 Brockville Proficiency Award, the OSSTF District 26 Award, the Specialist High Skills Major Award for Justice, and the Valedictorian Award. Congratulations, Morgan. Levi Coote. Next year, Levi will be taking a gap year to work. Then he will be going to college for environmental studies. Levi is receiving the Specialist High Skills Major Award for the Environment. Congratulations, Levi. Lydia DeYoung. Next year, Lydia will be heading off to St. Lawrence College to study Business Administration and Accounting. Lydia will be receiving the following awards the Athens Ministerial Bursary, and the May Court Club of Brockville Bursary. Congratulations, Lydia. Sarah Elliott. Next year, Sarah will be going to St. Lawrence College to study to be a veterinary assistant. The awards that Sarah will be receiving are the Dwayne Barber Memorial Award, and the Hudson Burnbray Foundation Award. Congratulations, Sarah. Scott Feenstra. Next year, Scott will continue working at Harvex as a feeds production and packaging associate and customer service representative eventually pursuing a career in the trucking industry and perhaps enrolling in an apprentice program. The award that Scott is receiving is the Township of Athens Bursary. Congratulations, Scott. Sean Ferguson. Next year, Sean will be attending St. Lawrence College for Police Foundations. Sean will be receiving the St. Lawrence College Board of Governors Entrance Scholarship. Congratulations, Sean. Liam Godkin. Next year, Liam will be working in a construction trade. Then he's planning to apply to police foundations. 
Liam is receiving the Walter Beaver Memorial Bursary and the George Tackaberry and Sons Bursary. Congratulations, Liam. Daniel Haggett. Next year, Daniel will be attending Algonquin College to study business agriculture. Daniel is receiving the Athens and Area Heritage Society Award, the Reinhard Bowman Memorial Scholarship, the Wiegand Farm Supplies Bursary, and the ADHS Staff Award. Congratulations, Daniel. Brandon Hamilton. Next year, Brandon will be working to make money to start his own landscape business. Brandon will be receiving the Student Success Initiative Award. Congratulations, Brandon. Cassidy Hill. Next year, Cassidy will be going to Kingston to St. Lawrence College and studying to be a social service worker. Cassidy is receiving the Athens Lions Club Bursary Award. Congratulations, Cassidy. Brandon Hiltz. Next year, Brandon will be heading to the Brockville campus of St. Lawrence College and he will be studying police foundations. Brandon is receiving the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 96 Brockville Bursary. Congratulations, Brandon. Carter Huey. Next year, Carter will be attending the Cornwall campus of St. Lawrence College and studying the paramedic program. Carter is receiving the Flood Family Bursary as well as the Valedictorian Award. Congratulations, Carter. Paige Leach. Next year, Paige will be studying at Trent University, taking a Bachelor of Science in Forensics and Psychology. Today, Paige will be receiving the Ferguson Family Foundation Bursary, as well as the Character Always Trustee Award. Congratulations, Paige. Alexis McMillan. Next year, Alexis will be attending St. Lawrence College to study pre-health science. Alexis will be receiving the Rising Sun Lodge No. 85 Award. Congratulations, Alexis. Colby Martin. Next year, Colby plans on working. Colby is receiving the Student Success Initiative Award. Congratulations, Colby. Owen Mercier. Next year, Owen plans on continuing to work. Owen will be receiving the Student Success Initiative Award. Congratulations, Owen. Jonah Redman. Next year, Jonah will be attending Queen's University and studying for a Bachelor of Computing Computer Science with a plan to enter the biotechnology stream Jonah is receiving the Township of Rideau Lakes Bursary. Congratulations, Jonah. Connor Shields. Next year, Connor will be continuing to work. The award that Connor is receiving 
is the Skills Trades Bursary. Congratulations, Connor. Alyssa Tedford. Next year, Alyssa will be completing a culinary apprentice as a chef and baker at Seatu Bakery in hopes of achieving her culinary red seal. Today, Alyssa will be receiving the Henry Merck's bursary. Congratulations, Alyssa. Nikki Whitehorn. Next year, Nikki will continue to work. Today, Nikki is receiving the Character Always Trustee Award and the Student Success Initiative Award. Congratulations, Nikki. Megan Yo. Next year, Megan will be taking a gap year and working. Megan is receiving the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 96 Brockville Bursary. Congratulations, Megan. Sammy Young. Next year, Sammy is heading to Carleton University for a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Sammy is receiving the Colonel Edward Jessup Branch of United Empire Loyalist Association of Canada Bursary, the Fidelity Masonic Lodge 650 Toledo Award, and the ADHS Staff Award. Congratulations, Sammy. Congratulations, ADHS Class of 2021. Greetings friends, family, staff and teachers. Today we are gathered to celebrate a milestone in our lives. After four short years, we have finally done it. We've graduated. Webster's Dictionary defines graduation as a passing from one state of experience to another. And I think this perfectly describes a situation we're all in are you bored of this? Yep. Same. Let's do something else. Let's take a trip down memory lane. This is where two of our students... No, 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 we're not doing this. Maybe that wasn't the best place to start our trip down memory lane. This is where I hit Brandon Hiltz in the head with a spoon and made him bleed and go home. This is where many of us ate lunch every day and where countless jokes were made. This is where Dwight, Sonny, and Charlie, the emus, were almost born. This is where Mr. Wilson taught us about bananas, boats, and <clears throat> chickens. This is where we learned Miss Campbell can incorporate a potluck into any class, and she knows how to bust a move. Do you remember jiving at the History Sock Hop? ADHS is where friend groups are made. Our close relationships with peers and teachers have shaped us into who we are. As you can see, I'm not the same person I was in grade 9. This is where I learned to persevere through challenges. We're all certain to face challenge in the future because nothing worth having in life comes easy. My transition to high school got off to a rocky start with a lot of loss in my personal life. Losing three grandparents in such a short time period changed my outlook on life. It taught me that life is precious and we should live it to the fullest. Take every opportunity that comes your way because you will only regret the chances you didn't take. This is where a small school becomes a community. We can all say that we've been accepted into this small family. We've been able to participate in every single activity that's gone on in the school. And we don't feel like we're being overshadowed by the student body. We have a relationship with every single student and all the teachers. This is where I learned to adapt. Change is the only constant in life and many of us will be experiencing big changes in the coming months, whether that be venturing into the workforce or pursuing post-secondary education. 
Change is scary. When I moved to Athens with my family, I was terrified. Leaving behind everything that is familiar and starting over is challenging, but it was also an opportunity for me to learn and grow. It is important to remember, as we move on to this next chapter in our lives, that as Dr. Seuss told us, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own now, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. This is my high school. This is my home. This is ADHS. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Carter and Morgan, for sharing some of your memories of the graduating class. I have always felt a special connection to these graduating grade 12s. I have finally been at a school long enough to see my grade 9s graduate, which was very special to me. Whether you like it or not, Athens is a small school, which means that for Carter and Morgan and countless others of you, I have taught you seven, eight, maybe even nine times. That is why I'm honored to have been asked by Carter and Morgan to be the teacher who shares some stories about the graduating class of 2021. Firstly, may I just say that I really enjoyed the engaging valedictorian speech. I would expect nothing less from the master of podcasts and expert in creative video making. You have both had lots of experience with this in class over the years. In your speech, you referred to different learning opportunities at Athens, and I have a couple to add to that list. In high school, we hope that students learn to be responsible, reliable, compassionate, cooperative, and positive members of not only the school, but our local and global communities. We have seen this countless times with our graduates, from raising money to charity events like pancake breakfasts and Terry Fox runs, to collecting food items for the local food bank. We have seen these graduates mature in our classes. However, not everything that we learn in high school is in a classroom. So what have we learned over the past four years at Athens? We learned that it is normal to have snowmobiles and four wheelers in the student parking lot and helmets lining the halls uh, by the lockers. We learned that it is worth doing the extra stairs for the good water fountain and that many students have great spirit, but pajama day and Halloween is by far the best spirit days. We learned that size really doesn't matter unless you're talking about tractors, then it totally matters. And Levi had the biggest tractor at Country Fair Day. We learned that Owen has the loudest car in the parking lot by far. And that Megan Yo is a fantastic artist, though maybe a bit of a perfectionist at times. We learned that hilts can spit bars. And you can thank Carter Huey for that contemporary use of language for being able to rap songs. We learned that Alyssa has a passion for baking, so much though so that she will find any way to weave food into the curriculum of any class. I recall a grade 12 history essay, the Nanaimo Bar throughout history, relating to cultural development and tourism. We learned if you ever need a helping hand, that all you need to do is ask Nikki. We learned that Daniel and Sammy are quiet in class until there's a bit of competition. And then Daniel is breaking his glasses to be first place and Sammy is bringing in the most food items for donations. We learned that you never lie to Miss Campbell, but if you do, I will find out. But even when I do find out over time, a great report can still be made. I'm looking at you, Liam. We learned that love truly does conquer all. When Carter sacrificed himself for Lydia in the Hunger Games classroom edition in grade 10 English class. And that Pi Day is Friday, obviously. We learned that Morgan and Paige are best friends and fiercely loyal to one another. Uh, you're welcome, ladies, for my grade nine uh, seating plan in art class. And to conclude, I would like to share a story of what I learned about this graduating class. I learned this early in my teaching career at Athens. I had only been at the school for a short time, and Terry Fox Day was fast approaching, which means fundraising. I shared a story about my mother being a survivor, with my class and told them the importance of this event. Like all classes, we spent the next week fundraising, 
but I felt my kids had an extra spring in their step. Maybe it was my inspirational story, maybe it was our competitive spirit, or maybe it was the ice cream party that we were promised for the winning team. But despite the reason, a week later, it was time for the charity event. Not only did my class raise the most money of any other class in the school and earn our ice cream party, but students had surprised me by writing on their Who Are We Running For stickers, Miss Campbell's Mom. It was that moment that I realized how caring and kind students at Athens can be. It is like a family and your presence will be missed at Athens as you take your next steps into adulthood. Some things from high school you will forget. I'm talking about you vectors from calculus class or dare I say my acronym for remembering the causes of World War I. But some moments we will remember for a lifetime and I am so grateful that I have shared these moments with you. On behalf of the staff here at Athens, we are proud of you and we look forward to seeing what you can accomplish in the future. Good luck and congratulations, class of 2021. To be an Ontario scholar, a student's six best grade 12 subjects need to average to 80% or more. Here are this year's Ontario Scholars, Morgan Burley, Lydia DeYoung, Sarah Elliott, Daniel Haggett, Brandon Hiltz, Carter Huey, Paige Leach, Alexis McMillan, Jonah Redman, Alyssa Tedford, Nikki Whitehorn, Megan Yeo, and Sammy Young. Congratulations. The academic medals are awarded to the top three grade 12 students who have achieved an average that is over 80% using the student's top six marks, five of which must be at the grade 12 level. This year's academic bronze medal recipient with an average of 92.5% is Daniel Haggett. Congratulations, Daniel. This year's academic silver medal recipient with an average of 93.3% is Jonah Redman. Congratulations, Jonah. This year's academic gold medal recipient had an average of 94%. This recipient is Morgan Burley. Congratulations, Morgan. The Governor General's Award is a medal that is awarded to the student who achieves the highest average upon graduation in all grade 11 and 12 courses. This year's winner goes to a most deserving individual. Congratulations, Jonah Redman. It is my pleasure to be presenting the Principal's Award to a graduating grade 12 student. This award is sponsored by the Ontario Principals Council and is one way for our school to recognize and congratulate this person for making a positive contribution to our school community. Criteria for this award is that the student demonstrates leadership skills individually and with others, is seen as a positive influence by students and school staff, works hard to achieve academically, consistently makes good choices, and is seen as a role model by the school community. This student consistently leads by example. She is a role model for her peers as well as all other students in the school. She is caring, kind, and extremely helpful. Respectful and mature, this young lady is both exceptionally responsible, community-minded, and academically oriented. In her time at Athens, she has emerged as a strong leader, hardworking, extremely intelligent and motivated. She featured prominently on school sports teams and helped with Link Crew and the Ambassador Club. She has a long and impressive track record of being involved in planning and promoting just about every activity at the school, including parliament and school food drives, as well as charity fundraising. It is my pleasure to present the 2020-2021 Principals Award for demonstrating outstanding leadership to Morgan Burley. Congratulations, Morgan.
Well, here we are at what seems to be the end of another chapter in your lives. With every end comes a new beginning. And though we are congratulating you today on your grade 12 graduation from Athens District High School, we know that you have many amazing accomplishments yet to come. You can be proud of all of the, that you have learned and accomplished so far, even through a pandemic. You have persevered through challenging times and you have succeeded. Although I have only been here since January, it is evident to me how much of a community ADHS is and how supportive and kind the students are at this school. ADHS truly is a small town and small school with a big heart. I've learned a lot by listening to Carter and Morgan's valedictorian speech and Ms. Campbell's response. I really enjoyed hearing the memories of you growing and learning together throughout high school. We hope you take a minute to reflect on what you have already achieved and that you are looking forward to what is yet to come. Graduation is a time to nod at the past and smile at the future. We look forward to continuing to hear about your journey as you head off to college, university, or into the workplace. We are proud of you, Class of 2021. To our families and friends who are watching, we thank you for helping your loved ones meet this milestone. To our Athens community, Thank you for your ongoing commitment and support for our students. To our office staff, teachers, and educational assistants, thank you for your time, energy, and commitment to the growth and development of our graduating class of 2021. And finally, to our class, ADHS class of 2021, I know this year has caused you many mixed emotions, frustration, fear, and anger due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but also mixed with happiness, joy, and excitement. You have made adjustments in your lives that I'm sure you would have never imagined. Wearing masks at school, doing your daily screener, physical distancing, having cohorts, learning from home again, and being on teams every single day. Your experiences this year have helped you to develop resiliency, gratitude, appreciation, and flexibility. These are skills that you will use as you move forward in your lives. We know our future is in good hands with you. As I said before, we are proud of you. Congratulations, graduates.